hey, what's up, y'all? I didn't even want nothing. Girl, I just got frustrated, girl. It's 129, and I thought I could make it to, um, I thought I could make it to, um, Starbucks. I'm not, you know what? I'm done. I do this every, I do this, I do this once a week. I don't know what happened, y'all, because I'm telling y'all, y'all already know, y'all would be in the car with me, girl. I would go to Starbucks, get my coffee, and go on, and go on to work. And then somewhere out the blue, girl, it's like that line just, that line does not go down now. I would go, I could go, Starbucks close at 2 o'clock. I could go to Starbucks at 150, baby, 145. I know they be pissed off. Girl, I could go to Star. I could leave my job at 145, make it to Starbucks in a few minutes, get my coffee, and go back to work. But now, girl, it's 1.30. And that line's still long. Whatever. I just really wanted to uh, call call y'all. I really just wanted to get on here and complain for five seconds. But I know y'all I know y'all probably like, bitch, shut up. Because, <laughs> girl, this is your seventh time going to Starbucks in the last two weeks. And it'd be the same story. It'd be you have the same story every time you go to Starbucks and you still have took your dumb ass start again. You right. Girl, you right. <laughs> I can't even get mad. Take my black ass to McDonald's. putting money to the side for a coffee machine. I mean, I could go buy one right now, but like, I just don't see myself like, I just don't see that. Like, I don't mind spending money on stuff that I want. Like, I don't want no coffee machine, but I know I need a coffee machine because in the long run, it would be cheaper for me. You know what I'm saying? Because, girl, these $3 and $4 and $5, girl, they, they, they you know, that shit add up. <laughs> girl, I love it. Oh, shout out to Bum B. That's what I meant. I've been meaning. To, that's what I meant to say in the other videos. Shout out to Bum B for coming out and finally checking Tory Lanez. That's what you. That's what we need. Like I hate to say it, but like these niggas, like they don't care. They don't give a damn about what we got to say. They don't give a fuck about nothing about the black what the black women got to say, and they damn sure don't care what the punks got to say. So Tory Lanez, he needs. They need like another street nigga like Bum B to come out and be like, nigga, you got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like when though when I don't know how to say it, but I feel like when you have a certain type of person that comes out and finally speaks up for people, I feel like then things people other people will start to follow suit. Kind of like a domino effect. Kind of like when it comes to sexual assault or rape. When that one girl or one person, still, one man stand up and say, this, this is what happened to me. Then baby, everybody else start be like, bitch, that happened to me too. Girl, he did the same thing to me, girl. She did the same thing to me. Yeah, she grabbed on my balls too. So hopefully with, with Bum B speaking up, other niggas will hopefully grow some balls and follow suit. We know these niggas, you know, one thing we one thing these niggas, one thing these niggas are consistent about, bitch. They gonna have each other back. Okay. That's one thing I will say, baby. Mm-hmm. Um, so shout out to Bumby. He about to well, I think it was Bumby. Chance the rapper sent out a tweet. But I, what I this is this is done. This might sound ignorant. I need for the niggas to come out and put a, and put a little aggression behind it. Hello, I need you to sound a little bit aggressive. All that all that bullshit. I stand with Megan. Girl, fuck that. No. <laughs> like Bum B said, baby. Any other day, bitch, we would have to see each other in the street. He said some shit like that. I thought, no, that's right, Mister Bum B. Shit. Shout out to Mister Bum B. Girl, y'all, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but Bum be smart as hell, y'all. And y'all know he a professor. At least he was a professor, girl. I remember one day, girl, I had to, I was watching, a, this was this was like a few years ago. I was watching the news, and I don't even watch the news like that, girl, because the news will get your, will have your ass depressed. 
But anyways, God was watching the news and God, I heard somebody's voice and I was like, who is this? It was Bumby, baby. Bumby sound like he graduated from Harvard, honey. I said, baby, I know you. I know that's right, baby. You want to pull the motherfucking switcheroo? <laughs> yes. Oh, Joe. Anyways, girl, I was talking to my friend Jay earlier, girl. You know the one who loved Nene, girl? <laughs> girl, he was so mad at me, girl. He was like, girl, he was, girl, he called me. I'm like, hello. <laughs> what you doing? Girl, I'm at work, girl. He was like, why they do my girl like that? I said, who is your girl? <laughs> You're acting dumb. Who is your girl? I said, Lanethia. I said, what they do to Lanethia, girl? <laughs> Oh, I feel so bad for her. I said, bitch, I don't. Like I told him, I said, I don't feel bad for no bitch who can't do something as simple as get on TV, have some drinks, argue, girl, and go home. Bitch, I don't feel sorry for no bitch who can't do that. I just don't. That's the easiest thing in the world, girl. The easiest thing. And like I told him, girl, y'all really set Nene up for failure, y'all. Like, Nene is a grown-ass woman. Can't nobody stop Nene from doing what she want to do. But at the end of the day, girl, y'all would make it no better when Nene, is on, when Nene is on the show cursing our producers, walking off of scenes, and y'all getting in her comment section on her page, hyping her ass up. Then y'all wonder why this bitch ain't got no job. You can say what you want to say, baby. Like I said, you can, we can say a lot of shit about Portia, Kenya, Candace, Cynthia, girl, Marlo, all of them. You ain't never heard stories of them cutting up and acting a fool. Even when Kenya got her pay cut in half, that bitch didn't do all of what, uh, didn't do all the shit that Nene been doing. Cursing out people, acting a fool, calling out Andy. Which, like I said, I'm not saying Andy can't get called out like I told him. I'm not saying Andy can't get called out. But, girl, you got to know how to play the game. I'm sure Nene got... I'm sure Nene has Andy's telephone up in her phone. Whatever problem she felt like she had with Andy, I'm sh if she would have just picked up the phone and be like, look, Andy, I don't appreciate when you did X, Y, and Z. But, no, she don't want to do that, girl. She wanted to bring it to the motherfucking world wide well. Okay. Go ahead, girl. Now your ass is sit there and lost, uh, lost a million plus dollars because you thought your ass was invincible. Y'all can't, like I told him, y'all, baby, y'all cannot get mad at Bravo. Bravo ain't did shit to Lanita, but make her a motherfucking millionaire. Yeah, they became they became richer too. Not they, no, I'm about to say they became millionaires, girl. No, they became richer too. Girl, we're not gonna sit here and act like girl like Nene didn't Nene wasn't compensated for what acting out acting a goddamn fool. Girl, they close. Yeah, I'd be nervous when the, when nobody be in line. Hi, right, how can I help you? Hello, can I have a large caramel iced coffee? Look, well, we don't have no iced coffee right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Right okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bitch, didn't I come here last night and the, them hoes said the same goddamn thing? How the fuck you run out of iced coffee, bitch? Make the coffee, let it cool down. Bitch, throw some ice in it and bitch, put those. Some... Girl, I done got pissed off. See, this would happen if I just had my own coffee. I could bring my own coffee to work and, girl. Something told me to go to this McDonald's right here. Something told me. But I didn't want to go to that one because the road is raggedy and this road is smoother and I wanted to run my mouth a little bit because I had got pissed off at Starbucks. Well, I guess I got pissed off at myself. Anyways, child. Um, yeah, like I, was, like I was telling him, girl, at the end of the day, child, it is what it is. All of, every single every single person on that cast is replaceable. Please don't think that. I don't want nobody to think that. Them, I, girl, and ain't nothing gonna happen to those ratings, girl. The ratings might go dunk. <laughs> girl, Nene. Girl, remember the girl. Let me stop talking about Nene. Everybody, everybody do what the fuck they got to do. Everybody do what the fuck they got to do except for Nene. Can you? 
bitch, she come on, bitch, she get shit started sometimes. She be with the shits. Baby, Kenya, bitch, brought, brought her goddamn husband on, knowing her husband was a motherfucking asshole. Knowing that nigga wasn't shit. Kenya did what she was supposed to do this time. Now, when she snuck off and got married and they got her ass together, she didn't. But, bitch, she did what she was supposed to do. Bitch, look at Cynthia. Bitch, Cynthia, bitch, Cynthia made Noel go put her face in somebody pussy. Just so I... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, Cynthia done made Paul Noel go eat coochie, bitch. Cynthia said, nah, bitch, we're not losing this chick. What, what we gonna talk about this season? Okay, you gonna be a lesbian? Okay, girl, you gonna be a lesbian. I need you to go ahead and just go ahead and start munching on that good old cooch. Hello? Who else? Who? Candy. Bitch, if ca Candy, like I said, bitch, Candy might be boring, right? But at the end of the day, the bitches around Candy ain't boring. The people around Nene are boring, girl. Don't nobody want to hear Greg. Like I said, don't nobody want to hear Greg sounding like, girl, Pimp Chronicles, girl. Don't nobody want to hear Bryson. Don't nobody want to hear Brent. Quiet as his kept, bitch. What Nene should have been doing was bringing on that baby mama and that son of hers to get some shit popping. Then I heard that the baby, one of the babies wasn't even his. But see, she don't know nothing. Ne uh, Candy, bitch, Candy can bring her eating that ass. Oh, girl. Girl, I got. Girl, I blocked off the whole motherfucking. Girl, that's so motherfucking rude. That done blocked off the street. Baby, she bring her ignorant ass mama on right on right on time. Have y'all noticed? Anytime Candy ain't got going on, she help her mama and Ty get into it. <laughs> y'all see what happened right at the right at the end of this, right at the end of last season. What Candy do? Have her mama and Ty start getting into it again, knowing that everybody was gonna talk about it like we did. Who else? Bitch Marlo. Bitch, Marlo done went and said her sister was crazy and went and took her kids so she can have a storyline. <laughs> Marlo said my kid, my sister crazy, y'all. I gotta, I gotta go snatch these kids up, cause baby, they, I think, cause we're on the street is girl. Nene about to get fired, and I'ma need somebody, I'ma need something to talk about when that bitch is gone. So Nene, so Marlo done went and got her, uh, her got when and got her nephews and using them for a storyline. I know that's right, bitch. Um, who else? Portia, bitch, Portia got married to a nigga who, who she knew was sucking dick in the park. Ain't nothing wrong with sucking dick, okay? And ain't nothing wrong with sucking dick in the park if that's what you want to do. Allegedly, Cornell was sucking dick in the park. Girl, Portia got married to a whole man and I brought him on the show. And she knew and she knew he got down for his crown. Then she done got with another nigga who got every bitch in Atlanta name tattooed on his goddamn bag. But that bitch gonna have something to talk about, though. You see what I'm saying? Baby, don't get here. Please don't get here, baby. Hi, what can I have a large caramel iced coffee? No, ma'am. Can I have the six-piece um, nuggets, the two fifty break menu, what kind of sauce are you barbecue and ketchup? Take a order. Yes, ma'am. First one, Yeah. Oh 
Gucci. Yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Who else? Who else, y'all? Kenya. She done, she done, she done came off. She done came on TV looking like a goddamn fool. Cynthia done pimped her daughter out to go eat pussy so she could have a storyline. Marlo done went and got them kids so she could have a storyline. Candy done made Todd and Mama Joyce get into another argument so she could have a storyline. <laughs> yeah. Bitch, all these bitches are all these bitches. <laughs> all I'm saying is, all these bitches are putting in the work. That's all I'm saying. All these bitches putting in the work. Nene thinks she can just show up on camera and then that's it. Bitch, would you? Let me ask y'all something. Like, 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 Dr. Johnny Williams taught us at Texas Southern University. Some sometimes you gotta stop thinking like the consumer. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you have to be the per. You have to be the entrepreneur. Yes, you have to think like the consumer sometimes. But girl, are you just gonna be handing out a check to a motherfucker who not doing no work? Nene not doing no work, y'all. She not. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Y'all can say a lot. Y'all can say like y'all can say a lot of shit about the other bitches. But one thing y'all can't say about Kenya Moore is that bitch don't put in no work. Cause that bitch come to work every season. Okay? She can only do so much. <laughs> girl, my girl, my sis, my sis could only do so much. Girl. She, that bitch, Kenya Moore, Kenya Moore earned her paycheck every season, bitch. Love or hate her. Nene come to work. Then when it's really time to, when it's really time to go into overtime for the reunion, this bitch, she walk out, she walk off the motherfucking, uh, off the motherfucking reunion and then call in to push your cell phone. Girl. I'm just saying, y'all. Like my friend Jay, he didn't want to hear all that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You can say uh huh all day long, girl. Your girl is gone. My girl's still there. <laughs> girl. Baby, Miss Moore is still there. Okay? Quiet as it's kept, though. If you really want to know the truth, girl, I think they should get rid of all them bitches. You know, I finally came to. I think, I, I think, I think we talked about this before. I think it's time. I think it's time. I think they need to start. I think I think slowly but surely, they need to start weeding these bitches out. I'm still mad they got rid of. And it's so funny, but you know the the real gag is, girl. Need like I said, like I told him on the girl. Girl, the real gag is, girl. You um, Nene trying to turn that plum into a peach. Is that is that what, is that what she told Eva? You trying to turn that plum into a peach? You trying to turn your plum into a peach. Nene, girl, I heard you went crawling back begging for that job. You trying to turn that plum into a peach. <laughs> Come on, Nene, for trying to turn a plum into a peach. That's what your ass get. Um, quiet as it's kept, I'm still mad they got rid of Eva. For real, for real. As much as Portia get on my nerve. Because Portia, I think, is the youngest of the group. Well, I think excluding the new girls that's coming in. Like... As much as I hate to say this, girl, ugh, I feel like I'm about to throw up in my mouth. They really could have made Portia like the face of uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. They could have moved Candy on out, Kenya on out, um, Nene, um, Cynthia, and they could have kept Eva. They could have kept. Yeah, they really could have. They could have brought kept Marlo too. I give it to Marlo. They could have kept Marlo. They could have kept Tanya, Eva, and then started bringing in some new girls. Well, I guess mm, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to sound ages. Okay, they they could keep they because yeah, you because all types of all age group. I ain't gonna say all age groups, but I guess you do need a couple of mature women in the group. But they said they want to go into a younger direction, so it's kind of like it may like if, if that's the if that's what they trying to do then. 
They could, they really could have just let Portia be like the face, you know, like the new Nene. Uh, and then Eva, they could have kept Eva, Tanya, Marlo, brought in some new girls. Quiet as it's kept, this is what they should have did. They should have kept Kenya, Candy. Okay, never mind. And then next season, they can go ahead and get rid of Cynthia. Then the season after that, they can go ahead and get rid of uh, Candy. They ain't gonna get rid of Candy though. Candy brings too much money to Candy brings too. That's why I say y'all really want to know the the head bitch in charge is Candy Burns. That bitch bring too much money to Bravo. Every time you look up, that bitch got a spin off. And y'all think that Nene was a head bitch. Nene ain't never been the head bitch in charge. Nene don't bring no money. Nene don't make no money for them, okay? The bitch who make the money is the bitch who, who, who is the favorite, okay? Kenya ain't no favorite. Cynthia ain't no favorite. Candy is the favorite, bitch. Candy family is the favorite. Like I said, Candy might be born, but her family and the Candy Cody click damn show like. Cause we know they'll get it popping and be messy in a heartbeat. Girl, these girls are slow, girl. I'll be you know, I'll be you know, I really don't like to be I don't, I'm not no nasty person to people. I hold up y'all. Uh Yes. The uh huh. You know, I'm really not no mean person. Not like that, I can be, but I'm really not no mean person like that. Especially the people who fuck with my food, bitch. You know, I talk my shit when I let the window up. Hey, <laughs> Grab me nice as hell. Yes, how you doing? Yes, sir. I let this one uh, these motherfuckers get them out there. They so motherfucking slow. This is the type of shit I be talking about. <laughs> Roll that window back down. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yes, smell. I'm not to play with these people. <laughs> this is what y'all be doing. I ain't gonna say y'all. Hold up, y'all. Oh, girl, you knew it was my time to go, bitch. Uh, you fuck my order up. This drink is wrong. I want another one. And now they're spitting your shit. Or ejaculated in your shit. You talking about, oh, this tastes funny because it's nut, girl. You drinking nut. Girl. <laughs> Ooh, child. Anyways, child, I'm about to go in here when I get to work and watch uh, watch Real Housewives of Potomac. And then, um, you know, I have to watch it twice. I'm going to watch it on my lunch break. And then I'm going to watch it when I get off. I'm going to try to watch it as soon as I get off because... Girl, y'all know uh, Brandy, uh, Brandy versus Monica. Well, it's not no versus, I don't guess, girl. I guess it's more of a celebration, girl. Um, but Brandy versus Monica come on tonight, girl. So, you know, I want to go live, but I'm not sure. It really depends on how I feel when I wake up because I want to be in bed no later than 10 o'clock so I can wake up around 6.15 because I think it come on 7 o'clock my time. Yeah, I think it. I think it do. So, girl, I want to be up, cause then you know after after I watch that girl, I gotta go straight to work, cause I work tomorrow night. So, I wanted to keep girl. I, girl, I was really trying to find somebody to work my schedule, y'all. But girl, you know, don't don't you know, too many people really don't like working overnight. So it was kind of hard. So, cause I really wanted to um, go live and then Kiki afterwards about the about the um, verses. But we ain't gonna be able to, we not gonna be able to, if I do go live tomorrow, we're not gonna be able to kiki afterwards because, baby, I'm gonna have to leave my house by 9 30, even if it's still long, girl. <sighs> Whatever, girl. Y'all see how smooth this road?
road is compared to the other road. Mr. Rose, they ought to be fixing this right over here. Why all these goddamn million dollar houses at, bitch? That don't make no damn sense. Anyways, that's all I wanted, y'all. I ain't really want nothing. I just wanted, I just wanted, I was pissed off about Starbucks. But I, then I guess I, I guess I really should be mad at myself. They say the uh, what's they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different outcome. Is that what they say? Hmm. All right, bye y'all.